brown crayons. I, I love how those those more uh, what they would call earth tones or something complement these brighter colors, and to me it added another dimension entirely. Made that whole area interesting with just just a little bit of paint. There's still so much of it unpainted in here um, and implied, but enough of it is painted that the whole thing, it just looks like a whole little pile of crayons. That's fascinating to me. So yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of this shadow here, not have that purple blocking. So we'll just add some paint, resembling the color of the cloth here. White, some cobalt blue, a little bit of yellow ochre. Probably, it's kind of curling up here, the, the, the um, paper, or paper towel or the cloth um, was curling up here, so it actually is catching more light. We can give the illusion that it's curling up by making it lighter like that, adding more light to it. Nice sharp edge. Okay, so just a couple more crayons, some some design to them. Now these over here, again, like I said earlier, the crayon itself, the wax part itself, is usually far more intense or vivid than the paper around it. So these pink ones, I'm going to just use straight alizarin crimson to start with. Pure alizarin crim crimson is what I mean. Um, and then modify it with a shadow, warm it up a little bit as it turns into the shadow, and then possibly add some white to the alizarin and make um, not a highlight, but just a little bit of light. Let's also add a shadow here, permanent rose, some orange, or alizarin, I, I think I grabbed the alizarin, orange, which itself would be a little bit intense. Actually, let's make it a little bit purple, give it more of a purple. I want to darken the pattern just a little bit in the shadow area. There, a little faded. That's better.
Let's add some shadow to this orange one. Just terra rosa and orange. Switch to a larger, slightly larger brush here for a second. Uh, well, wait, before we do that, I notice this shadow here needs to be adjusted. Again, I'm being extra careful not to overwork any one area because this is the, this is what I want to leave as unpainted as I could possibly get away with, just so that these stay strong. Because with each additional crayon, I could potentially weaken what I've established up here that's so strong, um, and I don't want to do that. So just a few brush strokes here and there. We'll, we'll alter, that was permanent rose in, in white, I'll alter the pink color a little bit by adding maybe some cadmium yellow uh, deep to it, so a warmer pink here. Just for variety, again, I want as much variety as possible. 